<laughs> Hello, interwebs. That was so awkward, but I'm just going to keep rolling footage or film or whatever you want to call it. It doesn't matter. It's August 14th, 2017. I'm going to tell you about some sports news. Starting up, college. Athletics. Um, so seven players for Florida football have been suspended because of uh, bad conduct off the field. Some bad things they did. No, nothing specific that I've read yet, but one of them was the top receiver from last year on Florida, so that's a hit for them. And rest in peace, um, Frank Broyles led Arkansas to a national championship in 1964. He died. He was 92. Yeah, rest in peace. Neutral hat. Don't get to see this often, but you're going to see it today. Justin Thomas, he won his first ever major, PGA major, the PGA championship um, at Quail Hollow this weekend, so good for him. Got the win. Yeah, so big, big win for him. Matt DiBenedetto um, has agreed to stay with Go Fast Racing. It's Go Fast, so let me spell it out for you. G O F A S Go Fast Racing. That's an S. That's an S. Go Fast Racing. Um So yeah, through twenty eighteen, good for him. I usually have him on my fantasy team. He gets some good value points. Um Bryce Harper. He injured himself. He was running to first base and he landed awkwardly when he lunged? It's called a lunge. And he landed awkwardly and they thought it would be bad lig ligament damage maybe. Something really weird. But turns out it wasn't. It was just a bone bruise and their GM said that they dodged a bullet. Which they did. And Bryce Harper also needs to get a haircut. That guy's hair is crazy. Man. Like it's like. Like imagine this. But like. And like it's like a Wookiee's hair. It's crazy, except it's all on the head. That's so off topic. It just felt like the same. And then uh, Lavar Ball, he trash talks MJ. How he could be MJ one on one. And uh, Ice Cube's a good player. He's he's pretty good. He's decent. I mean, obviously he's not NBA, but he's still got some skills. And uh, he beat Lavar Ball in a shooting challenge. So Lavar Ball got beat. And that was funny, I thought. So, yeah. And then, um, Dante Jones. He's that guy on the Cavaliers bench who got a technical for yelling off the bench. Yeah, he, he, he's very open about yelling at people. So, he gets, yeah. Um, he is being judged. Yeah, for, uh, saying Stephen Curry is not the top ten players right now in the league. I kind of agree with that, though. People are going to get mad at me because it's like, oh, it's Stephen Curry. But you got to admit, the media does kind of make him look better than he actually is. Um, I mean, he is one of the best shooters of all time. He's a great player, but he's just not as great as everyone seems to make him. Um, but honestly, I wrote down a list here of my top ten players. Number one, or start at number ten. Number ten, Chris Paul. Okay, Chris Paul is just a monster light. He's a great defender. He can pass the ball pretty well. Can score. Can drive. He's a good, good, good player. Great player. Number ten. Number nine. Paul George. I mean, he's he's got height. He can score. He's got a good shot. He knows how to make a move to the basket. Can score. As I said, he can get rebounds, which is big. Uh, if he wants to get higher on this list, I think he needs to learn how to make some more plays happen off the ball. So, yeah. Um, number eight, I'd say Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving can go to a different team, lead a team, and prove that he can lead a team into the playoffs, deep into the playoffs. Just him as the best player on the team, I think he would definitely move up. But he's number eight. His ball handling, obviously, just out of this world. He can shoot, can pass the ball pretty well. So, yeah, 
Seven, I have John Wall. John Wall obviously leads the Wizards, and he's just crazy good. Just He's a point guard, another good ball handler. Another guy who can make plays and uh, can play defense, so yeah. Um, six, I have Anthony Davis. I mean, his height, his ability, he can block shots, he can grab rebounds, he can score like crazy, which is pretty good for a guy his size. Um, <coughs> obviously, him and DeMarcus Cousins on the same team this year. Um, that's going to be interesting to see how that works out. At five, I have Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant, obviously, 6'11", power, small forward. Um, it's my favorite player. I should know what position he plays. Small forward. Um, obviously, he can score mid-range, driving, long range. I mean, he could pretty much do everything, but it's just that the league he's in, he's, he's top five. He's got fifth on my list just because of the team he's on and the star power that's on that team. He's not as – if he was on Oklahoma City still, I'd say he's a little bit higher on the list, but since he's – Golden State now, I feel like he's not as elite as he was, but he's still he's still very efficient with his scoring and shooting 54% this year. Very good. Number four, where is it? I have James Harden. James Harden obviously having a killer season this past season, but um, this year has Chris Paul. That'll be interesting to watch. Maybe Carmelo. Um, that'll be very interesting to watch this year. Um... Number three, I have Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook obviously won the MVP this year. Can score, rebound, assist, like pass good assist. He can do everything on the court pretty much. But uh, I think the thing that's holding him from number one on the list is obviously the ability of the team. And I think the thing that will help that this year is Paul George. But they get deep into the playoffs. I feel like he could be one of the top two in the league maybe. Number two, I have Kawhi Leonard. He's obviously the best player on the Spurs. He can uh, do everything. He's the best two-way player in the NBA. He can shut you down on defense, and then he can go on the other end and score on you with no issues. Biggest question in life is, can't could Kawhi score on Kawhi? That's a very good question. I'd like to see that happen, but we don't know. And then number one, obviously, LeBron James, just always, whatever team. He could go to the Brooklyn Nets right now, and they'd be the top three seed, and they'd be top three in the East. He's just that good. So, yeah, he's the best player in the NBA probably right now. So, yeah, that's all, that's all I got to talk about. So, yeah.